hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here you're welcome um how are you guys doing i hope everyone is doing fine so in today's video i'm going to be talking about a post i saw online that post triggered me into making this video so i'm going to be reading it out to you guys okay okay guys so i'm going to be reading it from my tab and it goes dear parents you have trained the girl child enough you have inculcated good habits in them enough already you have groomed them well they are focused and are excelling they have been adequately prepared for marriage thank you now can you please turn and face the boys i don't know the kind of men you people are raising these days tell your boys they won't die if they pick their plates and watch them after eating tell them they won't suffer stroke if they sweep and mop the house teach them how to cook too it won't reduce their manhood tell them they they won't have hypertension if their rooms are kept clean tell them it is not a bad thing for them to wash their clothes tell them their skin won't peel off if they bathe at least twice daily and their teeth won't fall off if they brush at least twice daily tell them they will still function well in the other room if they wash their boxes once or twice after using them tell them it doesn't cost a thing to be honest to be honest man the society needs virtuous men too so let them know it pays to be one tell them it is bad too for a man to be promiscuous tell them a man that shouts at his wife or raises his hand on a woman is a weakling and a beast teach them good manners stop saying they are boys house chores are meant for girls he will soon marry you think when they marry their wives will come and do magic in few years it is not easy to change the habits of a full-grown man let your focus not be on the girl child alone train the male child to don't let loose ill-mannered men into the society to come and trouble innocent responsible women wow this is deep if you want to listen to my own candid opinion about this write-up keep on watching if we're going to be honest this writer what this writer is saying is something that has been going on for a very very long time truth be said so many cultures believe that a man is a king a man should be served and therefore the woman should she should serve the king you know where i'm coming from is the same thing what this writer is saying it it happens in so many homes the female child is giving more attention you know when it comes to house chores than the male child the the female child is being prepared at a tender age to you know to be a wife material at a very tender age you know it is believable the the, the woman it's the female child is the one to to cook the female child belongs in the kitchen and you know most times in so many homes growing up you see the female the female children are the ones always in the kitchen with their moms and then the boys are just there watching tv and you know just playing around what this writer is saying is something that needs to be addressed you now my candid opinion on this is I think upcoming mom needs to do better. I didn't say our mothers didn't do good. They did awesome. Yes, we all know some mothers that raised their sons the same way that they raised their daughters. But what I'm, what I'm talking of now is the majority. And most times, this female child, you know, okay, they are well prepared, they are well groomed, you know, so that they make a perfect wife and then finally you meet this you meet this prince charming that you want to get married to and sorry to say and they are nothing to write home about as in when it comes to being homely when it comes to doing helping assisting in the house they are nothing to write home about okay what happens in the situation whereby both both parents are working okay both parents are working and then probably husband gets home first before the wife the kids are hungry and this man can't save those little dollars those little pounds those little naira 
because he doesn't know how to cook so therefore he takes the, the kids outside to go and eat while he would have conveniently done it at home and saved those little coins and i know some of you will say yes we can pay someone to to clean up we can pay someone to cook but that money which you you are saying you can pay someone to cook or you can pay someone to clean up that money can you can use that money for some for something else something more valuable those were the areas that they failed you know saying cooking was just for the female child putting certain responsibilities or setting house chores to a particular gender in most families you hardly see the male child go into the kitchen to cook it's an abomination you you dare not see a male child in the kitchen cooking it's an abomination because they say it's it's a girl's thing it's a lady's thing which is very very wrong imagine this quarantine period where everywhere is locked down and as a man you don't know how to cook is it gary you're going to be drinking all through the quarantine period you see cooking is a survival skill everyone who should eat should also know how to cook and it shouldn't be it shouldn't be narrowed down to just a, a, a girl child because anything can happen your wife is not around maybe your wife is sick and she's hospitalized and you're the only one with the kids at home and so this okay let's say maybe she's in the hospital for a week so throughout that period you're going to be eating out with your kids it's something that needs to be adjusted in this coming generation it's something that the upcoming months should look into no gender should have a particular role to play in the in the family no don't pay so much attention to the girl child and ignore the male child because you will be doing that male child no good the writer was sarcastic in some in some in some paragraphs but yeah sincerely speaking a lot needs to be changed in the upcoming generation well you know some of them will complain about these things and at the end of the day when they have their own children they will repeat the same thing and this cycle goes on and on and on so please upcoming moms please you guys need to give attention to both genders to both male child and female child don't focus so much on making the, the female child the wife material that you know you you forget you know the morals and that should be instilled in in this in this male child some time ago i was talking to a youtuber she posted something she was just something similar to what this writer wrote we got into a conversation and then she said sincerely she can't marry her brother and i said yeah it's it's like that with so many so many ladies we say the same thing you just said so many ladies i'm not surprised so many ladies will say the same thing you just said and it's understandable i feel you know these things should be changed please upcoming moms you guys need to do better we need to do better i'm not excluding myself we upcoming moms we need to do better we need to you know we need to fill in that gap that you know our mothers didn't fill in you know ignoring the male child and focusing so much on the female child when these male children grow up their wives can correct none of these mistakes it's just any it's just like it's just like a tree a tree that is already fully grown you can bend it to the direction you want it to, to, to you know to, to start growing to so the only time to bend a, a growing tree into the direction that you want it to go it's when it's still tender when it's tender you can turn it you can turn it around to the direction that you want it to grow towards so please that is the right time to to do that not when they are they are married there's nothing that can be done those their wives that were well groomed growing up can't change nothing they can't change nothing it's already a done deal you're focusing so much on this girl child and you're ignoring the male child 
who is meant to be the head of the family. It doesn't make sense. So upcoming moms, we need to focus on both genders. We need to give our attention to both male and female children. Don't say this is, oh, this is not a guy's work. Don't say the kitchen is the woman's place. The kitchen is not just for a woman. We need to change this. You know, today you see, you see so many married couples, they are setting house chairs that if their wives are not there to do, using, you know, maybe she's sick. I keep on using because that's something that is, you know, that's something that occurs anytime. Let's say your wife is sick and then because she was the one cleaning the house, she was the one doing the cooking, she was the one doing every house chore because she's sick and hospitalized, then everywhere needs to be unkept. The dishes need to be to be dumped in the kitchen for no one to, to wash them. The house is dirty and untidy. The kids are going to school with unwashed uniforms. Dirty, dirty uniforms, dirty underwears and dirty everything just because that wife that wife of yours who is meant to be doing how all the house chores because she is the woman is not around uh, please 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 if you're an upcoming mom and watching this video right now please please pay attention to both of your children irrespective of their gender don't give certain roles in the house to your girl child because she is a girl child because it is a woman's duty because it is a woman's place let's bring up our children so so that they won't be liabilities to their partners in future so that they will be useful to their partners in all areas this is all I have to say. Thank you very much guys for watching and if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to click the like button and if you haven't subscribed, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you have to say about this whole, about this whole topic, okay? Let's interact in the comment section. See you guys in my next one. Bye!